Hi everyone, I am Gunjan Thanuka, a recent graduate from IIT Guwahati with a B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering. I will also be joining the Masters in Computer Science program at Carnegie Mellon University in this year. This video, we will be talking about all about IIT Guwahati CSE, the academics, the research opportunities, the placements, the campus life in general. This video will help you if you are considering joining IIT Guwahati or are simply interested in knowing more about the curriculum here. Be sure to stick to the end to know a secret by which you can explore the CSE department at IIT Guwahati without actually being a student here. Starting with the most important thing of your college life that is academics. So the course spans over 8 semesters that is 4 years. In the first year you will learn about common subjects that is across all the branches that is chemistry, physics, biology and introductory programming. In the second year onwards you will begin with core CS subjects. You will study about discrete mathematics, data such as algorithms, probability, formal languages, computer architecture and so on. So these courses will be the base for any further courses that you take in the future in your third and fourth year. Third year onwards, you will get to study core courses like operating systems, networks, software engineering, machine learning and so on. So these courses will be really project intensive and they will test your ability to program and to write good code. This will really prepare you for the real world scenario that you might face uh, later on in your jobs and so on. So it is very important to do well at these courses to get the basics right because these courses will be the ones which will set you apart from all of the thousands of computer science undergrads in India. So these projects will make your CV and your profile look very impressive if you do them correctly. Apart from these, you can also take up many electives. So the ones that I took were virtual reality systems, VR AR systems, cryptography is also offered. Then you have smart systems lab where we worked with sensors and created a smart bicycle. And then we have network security to learn about ethical hacking and cryptography and so on. So third year at IIT Guwahati CSE all in all can be said to be very project intensive and very important for your foundation as a computer science engineer later on in your career. Now coming to the fourth year, you can expect the fourth year to be pretty chill compared to the third year. Most students take up a bachelor thesis project that is BTP. So th these projects are basically floated by professors as research projects and you will be working on them for two semesters that is your complete fourth year. What happens is if you take your BTP course then you can drop any other two courses so you will drop a total of four courses in exchange for your BTP. However this means that you must give enough time to your thesis project before uh, starting any project discuss properly with the supervisor on the project deadlines and the project expectations and make sure that you take up a project which really aligns with your interest. The various domains in which projects are offered are in AI, hardware, then we have algorithms, cryptography and so on. In the fourth year, you also have a lot of department electives that you can take up and also open electives. So the electives that I took were parallel algorithms, hardware security, mathematical finance and blockchain. So these are a like variety of courses that I wanted to explore before I left IITG. Some courses that I took in humanities were introduction to Indian epics where we read the entire Mahabharata and we understood the story, we analyzed the characters, we wrote long essays on that and it was a really fun course. We also took up a course called Modern Western Drama where we read works like Waiting for Godot and Machinal. So these are some of a different type of course that offer you some insight into literature or economics or philosophy if you are into that kind of a thing as well. The grading in courses at IIT Guwahati in general is not very easy and neither is very tough. It depends a lot on the professor. For an estimate, uh, about 20 students of 125 in our computer science department have a score of 9 or above on their average CGPA. So IIT Guwahati also offers you the facility of taking minor in a lot of subjects. So some few popular minors that computer science people usually take are artificial intelligence and data science, product design and so on. So you can take these and you can explore other fields as well. However, there are things that definitely lack at IIT Guwahati in terms of academics. First thing is that there is no TA ship opportunity for undergrads. So TA ship is basically teaching assistantship. So you will work with a professor on a course and you will teach other students, uh, most probably your juniors. And this is very useful if you're applying for higher studies or PhDs and so on. So this kind of experience is not available at IIT Guwahati right now. Then there is very less flexibility in terms of the courses. So the credits are fixed, you have to take that many credits per semester and you cannot take less or more credits. So at different colleges like IIT Delhi, I've heard that people take up courses in advance and then finish their degree one semester earlier and spend that one semester doing a foreign internship or doing something else of their own like a startup or something. So that is not possible here as of now. The course structure is very rigid and you have to follow that. Even winter internship is not provisioned at our college right now. However, there may be some changes in the near future. So 
yeah there are th- these are the things that you should definitely keep in mind while opting for iit guwahati it is always best to talk to your seniors who are there to know more about the recent developments that have taken place in academics especially so moving on to campus life and facilities one of the best things at iit guwahati is that every computer science student from second year onwards is allotted a personal computer and a working space in the in an air conditioned lab and there you can basically spend your whole time it is open 24/7 and you can do your assignments there you can have group study you can even watch movies so everything is can be done in that lab and the pcs are fairly good they are i5 or i7 which are sufficient for all of your course load we also have access to supercomputing facilities like paramishan if you need to run some heavy experiments and you can also check out the department library in cse if the institute library is full so you can study there so all in all cse department is well equipped with labs to cater to your computing needs now the campus life in general so there are fest i'm sure you must have watched the after movies of all the fest that happened in iit guwahati already so be sure to enjoy those there is a good amount of sports facilities available for almost every sport that you want to play there is a good scene of clubs both technical and cultural we will talk about them later so all in all iit guwahati offers you a vibrant uh, campus life as well uh, along with the academics the campus is really beautiful i think one of the best campuses in the country so when you walk out at night after doing assignments it is really a good feeling to be relaxed in that kind of a weather the hostels are twin shared for boys as of now our batch was the last batch to receive single rooms now it is a single after third year only now coming to research labs and opportunities uh, for undergrad students at iit guwahati this is one place where i feel iit guwahati is slightly lacking as compared to other older iits like iit bombay and delhi there are not as many undergraduate opportunities to do research except for the thesis project that i told you it is also difficult to like uh, get a project under a professor early on but i would highly recommend that if you are interested in research reach out to professors in person go to their office talk to them about their research and show that you are interested in what they are doing they might want to take you in for a project and see how you do having said this there are faculties in the cse department who are very actively working in a number of research areas like computer architecture hardware network security cryptography even machine learning so definitely there are professors and labs you might want to check out before you want to join iit guwahati however i would say your research interest will really shape after your second or third year so don't have any reservations early on but yeah uh, as one thing i also felt at my time at iit guwahati was that there was not much cutting edge research going on in machine learning in which i was interested but there has been a new school of data science recently established which has faculty specializing in uh, machine learning and ai and i have heard good reviews that there are ample research opportunities available there so that might suit you as well in our cse department we have a number of labs like multimedia lab robotics lab speech lab software lab where phd's usually do their research and you can talk to them about their research and what they are doing If you're interested in research you can also go for summer internships in your second and third year although the number of students that usually do this is quite few in our batch i think maximum of two or three students did this but again it depends a lot on your interest you can apply to internships that open online and you can talk to professors in other institutes via email and approach them about their ongoing so now coming to the section you would be most interested about the career outcomes the placements right so the placements at iit guwahati are handled by the ccd which is center for career development usually there is a official internship drive after you complete your second year so when once you complete your second year in the summer of after that you will give coding test and you will have interviews for internships many large companies like google microsoft alpha grab codai rubric databricks jp morgan goldman sachs all of these visit iit guwahati and hire students and you will be giving test you will be giving interviews and then you will be finally receiving an offer the internship stipends usually go to a maximum of about 4 and a half lakhs per month which is usually given out by the hfts or the quant companies coming to placements so what happens is after you do your internship after your third year you either get a offer or you don't or for example if you have not received an internship you sit for placements so if you sit for placements the tests begin around october so in october of your fourth year right so after you start your fourth year you will give this test and then in december you will have interviews Usually the CSE department uh, ranks very high amongst the top I think in terms of placements at IIT Guwahati the number of students selected for placements is quite high and also they are given offers pretty early on they bag they usually bag the highest offers on campus as well so the placement packages go from somewhere around 15 lakhs per annum to 2.1 CR per annum again uh, remember that these are CTCs and not the enhanced salaries the enhanced salaries are quite less than the total package offered 
but yeah something to keep in mind all in all the placement at iit guwahati is at par with other older iits and especially when it comes to software based companies or finance companies however uh, in terms of quant companies or hfts iit guwahati does not attract that many companies as if you are targeting that kind of a company this might be something to consider now coming to the fun part of the campus life iit guwahati is a rich culture of student clubs and bodies when compared to other iits we have a number of cultural and te- technical clubs who com- constantly compete with each other to be the best resulting in a huge array of events courses workshops and so on so you will always find yourself resonating with one or the other club in the campus and you might want to become a member of them i was the secretary of the coding club of iit guwahati in the past and we released a number of courses events we conducted workshops on latest technologies and so on and this gives a very satisfying feeling to everyone involved in the club and you get to learn a lot also there is a huge amount of fun involved as well there are also technical clubs in finance ai consulting electronics robotics and so on so you might want to check out them as well The best place to check them out is Instagram, where they are most active. We have a large number of cultural activities as well: dancing, singing, literature, debating, quizzing. All of these is present in the campus, and you can associate with whatever group you like. The computer science department also has a student body called CSEA, which serves the computer science undergraduate students in terms of placements, internships, taking out electives, choosing your BTP thesis. all of these things whenever there is a big decision in your life coming regarding academics csea will be there to help you so i hope that you got a good idea about iit guwahati from this video i made this video because when i was sitting for counseling i did not get any such resource on what exactly goes on inside such a college how are the placements like how are the research opportunities and i had to contact like 10 or 15 seniors and get a overview from all of them again these opinions are mine and based on my experiences it might differ for from person to person so feel free to reach out to more seniors talk to more people to make a final decision now as promised earlier the csc department of iit guwahati actually also offers summer internships for research where professors take in students from other colleges and you get to stay in the campus of iit guwahati doing research projects these links usually float around before summer and you fill them up you talk to the professor and finally you get allotted to an internship i will add the link to these announcement in the description if you want to know more about iit guwahati csc i will also be writing a blog on this topic including all the links and some pictures from my iit guwahati experience the link for the blog will be in the description so feel free to check that out and share it with your friends